Hey, what's up, you guys? I am Miss Silver, and today we are going to go over circles. Um, little do you know, we've recorded this video a few times because I almost gave you guys all the answers. Sorry. Um, but we've got a quick little lesson today. We are going to go, we're going to watch a quick video that's about three minutes long. We're going to go over a quiz, and then um, your related reading and your worksheet are all combined into one. So we'll go over the worksheet first, just in case um, the formulas are gone over in, hold on, I think my video is freezing. No, we're good? Okay, carrying on. Um, I will give you guys an opportunity to jot down the formulas for your um, worksheet, and let's get started. You want one pancake or two? Don't think we have enough batter for 50 pancakes. Dear Tim and Moby, what exactly is a circle and how do you measure one? From Dylan. Circles, eh? Well, Moby, a circle is a little more complicated than a polygon. For one thing, a circle has only one side. In mathematics, it's known as being a closed curve. We define a circle as a set of all points in a plane that are the same distance from one particular point in the plane. Well, that point is called the center. If we know a circle's center, we can measure all sorts of stuff about the circle. Well, I'll show you. The diameter of the circle is the distance across the circle through its center. What's the diameter of your plate? Okay, the diameter of our circle is 26 centimeters. The radius is the distance from the center to any point on the circle. Okay, oops, we forgot to go over this. Okay, so I'll just give you guys a heads up. Question one, um, a circle has a radius of three centimeters, and then it's gonna ask you some other questions. So as we go through it, I will pause it so you guys can jot down the formulas. Right, the radius is one half of the diameter. And our okay, for those of you guys who can't see that, it's your radius is equal to one half the diameter. Um, so in this question, really quickly, I'll give you the answer if you're listening. The diameter is going to be two times the radius. So your diameter is going to be six centimeters. Radius is 13 centimeters. The circumference of the circle is its perimeter, or the distance around the circle. We can find the circumference by using the formula c equals pi times the diameter. Okay, so your circumference, the third part of that question, is going to be pi times diameter, right? So we got our diameter in question one, so you're going to multiply that by pi to get your circumference. Well, pi is a constant often represented by this symbol. It's a funny little number, but for some reason it's really useful in measuring circles. As far as we know, it goes on forever, but in most cases it's okay to round it off to 3.14. 3.14 times 26 equals 81.64, and that's our circumference, more or less. If we wanted to get really precise, we could say that the circumference is 26 pi and leave it at that. I will have those answers accepted too. Well, the area covered by the circle is known as the disk. We can find the area of the disk with another equation. The formula for area is A area equals pi times the radius squared. Okay, so really quickly, the second part of that question is going to be your area. And in order to get that, you're going to multiply pi times your radius squared. So really quickly, jot that down. And we'll move on. Plug in our radius and get A equals pi times 13 squared. Order of operations says that we square the 13 first. And 13 squared, or 13 times 13, equals 169. And 169 times 3.14 equals 530.66. If we round to the nearest whole number, that's 531 square centimeters. 
See the stuff we can learn, armed with just a reasonable approximation of pi in the center of a circle? What do you... Marking the center of the circle. I see. I suppose it's pretty safe to assume that I'm getting blamed for this. Okay. So, um, question one. A circle has a radius of three centimeters. You're going to find the diameter of the area and the circumference. Um, if you guys wrote down the formulas, this will be much easier. Question two. What is the area of a circle whose diameter is 14 pi? What is, or sorry, I'm sorry. Question three is what is the radius of a circle whose area is 64 pi centimeters squared? Question four, what is the circumference of a circle whose area is 81 pi squared? Question five, a circle has the circumference of 24 pi. What is the area? Question six, what is the diameter of a circle whose area is 64 pi squared? Question seven, what is the circumference of a circle whose area is 36 pi squared? Okay. We will go over the quiz two. This will be the last step in this video, guys. So if you have not taken a quiz with me before, I answer D for every single question. Um, you write down whatever you think is correct. Um, at the very end, we will go over the answers together. And let's get started. So question one, what is the diff, I'm sorry, what is the definition of a circle? Is it A, a set of all the points in a plane that are the same distance from one point in the plane. Question B, a set of all the points in a plane that are the same distance from any point in the plane. C, a round shape that contains empty space. Letter D, a round three-dimensional shape. I'll give you guys about 10 seconds to answer. Okay, question two. What is the diameter of a circle? You guys wrote those down, it's an easy answer. Is it A, the distance around the circle? B, the distance from any point on the edge of the circle to any other point? C, the distance from the center to any point of the circle? Or D, the distance across a circle through its center? Question three, what is the radius of a circle? Is it A, the distance around the circle, B, the distance across the circle through its center, C, the distance from the center to any point on the circle, or D, the distance from any point on the edge of a circle to any other point? Question four, what is the circumference of a circle? Is it A, the distance around the circle, B, the area of the circle, C, the distance from the center to any point on the circle, or D, half the area of the circle? Okay. Question five, halfway there. Which of the following must you use to calculate the area of circumference on, of a circle? Is it A, three, B, X, C, pi, or D, E? Okay, question six. What is the circumference of a circle with a diameter of eight centimeters? Is it A, about 35, B, about 25, C, about 16, or D, about four? Okay. Question number seven. What is the diameter of a circle with a radius of five centimeters? 
Is it A, 2.5, B, 25, C, 5, or D, 10? Okay. Question eight, what is the area of a circle with a radius of 10 centimeters? Is it A, about 31.4 square centimeters, B, about 314 square centimeters, C, about 100 square centimeters, or D, about 50 square centimeters? Question number nine. What is the area of a circle with a diameter of 10 centimeters? Is it A, about 79 square centimeters, B, about 55 square cent, ugh, about 55 square centimeters, C, about 125 square centimeters, or D, about 15 square centimeters? Okay, final question. What is the area of a circle with a radius of 12? Is it A, about 113 square centimeters, B, about 144 square centimeters, C, about 179 square centimeters, or D, about 452 square centimeters? Okay, 30%, not good. Okay, let's go over the answers. Question number one, what is the definition of a circle? It is A, a set of all the points in a plane that are the same distance from one point in the plane. Okay, if you answered question A, you are correct. Question two, what is the diameter of a circle? If you answer D, you are correct. The distance across, I'm sorry, the distance across a circle through its center. Question three, what is the radius of a circle? If you answered C, you are correct. It is the distance from the center to any point on the circle. Question four, what is the circumference of a circle? If you answered A, you are correct. The distance around the circle. Question five, which of the following must you use to calculate the area of, or circumference of a circle? If you answered C, pi, you are correct. Sorry, this was a little bit confusing. If you guys have never seen it spelled, versus the way that we've been using it, let's say over here as the symbol. Gentle on yourself with that one. Question six, what is the circumference of a circle with a diameter of eight centimeters? If you answered B, about 25, you are correct. Question seven, yay, one correct for me. What is the diameter of a circle with a radius of five centimeters? D, 10 centimeters. Question number eight, what is the area of a circle with a radius of 10 centimeters? If you answered B, you are correct. It is about 314 square centimeters. Question number nine, what is the area of a circle with a diameter of 10 centimeters? If you answered A, you are correct. It's about 79 square centimeters. And final question, which I got correct. What is the area of a circle with a radius of 12 centimeters? If you answered D, you are correct. It's about 452 square centimeters. Okay, I think that wraps this up, guys. If you want credit, make sure you turn in your quiz with the corrected answers. 
I'm more so looking to see that you guys did it, not necessarily if you're right or wrong. If you wrote in the correct answers, pat on your back. That's awesome. That's how I personally learn. And then if you guys turn in this seven question uh, worksheet, you will get credit towards fun things. So I guess that that's it. I guess today's episode was brought to you by this creepy little creature who you guys may or may not see staring at you and my webcam. Very confused why I'm having a full-blown conversation with myself. So welcome to quarantine, guys. I will see you guys in my next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.